So one of the things about kicking that is interesting is it's probably one of the most pressure-packed position in sports. And I say that every sport has pressure. We know that. Um, but kickers face it week in and week out. There's only 16 games. There's not 90 or 100. You got 16 games. Every game's a huge deal. Every game is this massive event that you need to win. And your kick, your 1.3 seconds is how long it takes to kick a football, can decide the fate for 52 other guys who just fought on the field. So it's a massive deal. And I knew that going into the NFL. I knew that uh, it was gonna be a lot of pressure, but I didn't know how much pressure until like my first couple years. And uh, my second year in the league, we played the Green Bay Packers up at Lambeau Field. Against, uh, I think it was Favre at that time. And um, uh, we go up there in a wild card playoff game in 1993 and we lose like 13-10 or some close game. The week after the game, I got a letter from a fourth grade student named Kyle. And uh, Kyle wrote me a wonderful letter. He stapled his picture on it. I saved it to this day. And um, I thought you'd have some fun reading what Kyle had to say to me after we lost. He says, uh, Dear Jason, he says, Hi, my name is Kyle. And my dad is in a football pool at work. The only time that we were close to winning the pool was with the number zero to three at the end of the first half of your wild card game. We were so excited and we were really fired up because we knew that you would never miss a 30 yard field goal. And then the dreaded Packer miracle happened. That means I missed. Because I was going to get some of the money, I was wondering as if you would be as so kind as to send me a $25 check with your autograph on it. I'd be so proud to bring it to my school and show it to my class, your friend Kyle. So when I was getting hit up for lost fantasy football money by fourth graders, I knew I was in big trouble in the NFL, right? That it was, it, the pressure was deep. 